What's up, everybody? As I told you moments ago on the first episode of 32 Picks in 32 Days, that I'll be right back with the second episode of 32 Picks in 32 Days. <laughs> I'm Ryan Thomas. Welcome to the Thomas Take Sports Podcast. Coming to you live on GrandstandSportsNetwork.com, per usual. Facebook, Twitter, at Thomas Takeover, as well as subscribe to the YouTube channel, the Thomas Take Sports Podcast. Uh, very excited to kick off this second episode of 32 Picks in 32 Days. Auto- automatically off the board is none other. First overall pick has been picked. The Cleveland Browns have selected running back Saquon Barkley first overall. And I... Uh, Told my reasonings for that, gave every reason you could think of that I could think of, I should say, as to why uh, Saquon Barkley should be the first overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, and Cleveland would be fools not to take him. The second overall pick, the New York Giants, finished 3-13 and last season. Really disappointing season for the Giants as they came in with high hopes, but a lot of injuries in terms of on the offensive side of the ball especially really hurt the Giants. And Odell Beckham, you know, his ankle injury is definitely something that everybody's going to be talking about leading up to the 2018 NFL season. How will he come back from that? Uh, Sterling Shepard got hurt. Uh, the Giants, as always, have had no run game to speak of whatsoever. And for them, it, it really stinks if Saquon Barkley gets picked um, at first overall. Because that is the guy that they would need to go after. And granted, you know, every person, every person that puts out a mock draft... And I just put a stick of gum in my mouth, so just bear with me. Every person that puts out a mock draft tries to get as much inside information as they possibly can on each team. Do I think Cleveland could go quarterback first overall? They could. Very well could. Especially with these quarterback prospects that are the talk of the town the Rosens and the Darnolds of the world, and the Mayfields. That could happen. But for the sake of my mock, I had Cleveland taking Saquon Barkley, so that means he's off the board. The Giants then become a true trade partner for a team looking to move up, which obviously to most Bills fans out there would be the Buffalo Bills. But I didn't put in any trade-up scenarios in this mock draft. I did it as concrete as I possibly could because I'm not going to get that technical about it. I think anybody that does put trade scenarios in their mock draft is just looking to add some extra fun to it just out of pure boredom. Where I'm just looking to say, hey, I think these teams will take these players in these picks. And that's it. So the Giants pick second overall, finished 3 and 13 last year. Terrible season. Cleveland takes Saquon Barkley in my 32 picks in 32 days mock draft. So if Cleveland takes a running back, would the Giants then take a quarterback? Eli Manning is 37 years old. Um, There's a lot of rumblings out there that new head coach Pat Shermer wants to give Eli another shot. There's also been rumblings that Pat Shermer wants to get in his guy. And realistically, you'll never be this high again taking a a quarterback for the future. Really, the Giants are a much, much better team than, than what they showed last year. It was just a lost season, due in large part to the fact that Ben McAdoo is a moron. So... I definitely think the Giants at two could either become trade partners or take a quarterback. 
But another scenario that I think is, has passed a lot of people by in this situation is that, let's just say, let's just believe Pat Shermer, Pat Shermer on his first take on this situation, which was, we believe in Eli Manning, we think he's got three, four years left, he's never had any major injuries, he's always been healthy, we think if we put a, a, a line around him, make our team better, that is what we can do. There's two players that come to mind that are immediate impact players that could help the Giants. One of which is defensive end Bradley Chubb, fortify their pass rush. The other is guard Quentin Nelson out of Notre Dame. And believe it or not, I am going to go with the guard Quentin Nelson out of Notre Dame. He would add a behemoth of an offensive lineman to this team that they desperately need. I know two is a little high for a guard, which this is a mock scenario. I can only mock what is in front of me. And as of now, the New York Giants have the second overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. So being that that's the case, the Giants, as of now, have the second overall pick. They're not trading. They haven't traded yet. I'll only mock the situation when they make that move, which you guys will see momentarily with the New York Jets, with the New York Jets, I'm going to go with guard Quentin Nelson going second off the board. Notre Dame guard Mahler of a lineman, one of the best linemen to come into the draft since Zach Martin, who was also out of Notre Dame, went to the Dallas Cowboys, has had an All-Pro NFL career. Notre Dame breeds great offensive linemen. Just as to Sean Kaiser. Just ask Mike McGlinchey, who is also a first-round pick in this year's draft in my eyes. Two stud offensive linemen from Notre Dame of the Giants taking Quentin Nelson. Adding another starting immediate impact lineman that fortifies the, the Giants offensive line to a higher degree, which isn't much. <laughs> Because the Giants' offensive line is so bad. But they did add Nate Solder to left tackle. So left tackle, Nate Solder, left guard, Quentin Nelson, or right guard, Quentin Nelson. You got two stud offensive linemen. Maybe they add another one. Only time will tell. But as of now, I have the Giants taking Quentin Nelson. I really like the Giants hire of Pat Shermer. I thought he did a fantastic job this season with the Minnesota Vikings. And I also thought that that last season with the Giants was doomed before it even started. Doomed before it even started. Because you look at the team, you look at depth-wise, had they had injuries, which they eventually did, it was going to be a rough season. And the Giants did have that rough season. Chalk last year up as a lost year. Eli Manning gets benched. Geno Smith gets put in slash Davis Webb, ruining Eli Manning's consecutive start streak, which might not have ever ended. For as bad of an offensive line that the Giants have had the last couple of years, the fact that Eli Manning has stayed healthy is nothing short of a miracle nothing short of a miracle and i do think eli does get a little bit of a bad rap for whatever reason i think you know i i think there's a few obvious reasons to that he's peyton's little brother people think that anytime there's a manning you know in in the nfl or come i remember when he came out thought man this guy is he better than peyton is he better than peyton with question marks all over the usa today and all the sports journals and stuff like that Eli is Eli. Peyton is Peyton. Let's just leave it at that. Eli has things that make him great. Peyton had many things that made him great as well. So let's just leave it at that. The guy's got two Super Bowl rings, probably on his mantle, that say he's he's a pretty damn good quarterback. And he won those two Super Bowls going up against the New England Patriots. People can say, oh, they got lucky. Oh, they did this. Oh, they did that. Well, they won. Shut up. And I'm not a Giants fan by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't understand the hate for Eli. I've never understood that. I'd take him. I know that. As a Buffalo Bills fan, he'd be the best thing we've had in a long, long time. So I'll take him if if the Giants are willing to, to 
pawn him off, which they're not, but 37 years old, more like 37 years young if you get Quentin Nelson on your offensive line and add Quentin Nelson with the addition of Nate Solder, who was protecting Tom Brady's blind side for the majority of uh, Solder's career, all of Solder's career. That's 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 a good that's a good pick right there. A little high for a guard, maybe. That's why I think the Giants could potentially trade down. They could trade down, maybe to five, with Denver, and pick the same player. Uh, they could trade down to six with Indy to take the same player. But I I think that it's going to be a guard here. I really do. So. That was the second edition of 32 Picks in 32 Days. You just tuned in to the Thomas Takes Sports Podcast live on Grandstand Sports Network. I'm Ryan Thomas. We'll be right back. 32 Picks in 32 Days. We're going to get three done each day. Technically, the title is Bull Loney. Take care, everybody. <laughs>